Welcome to AQS Quilt Week Spring Paducah 2019. I am here with the winners of the Wall Quilt Movable Machine Quilted category sponsored by Juki. Joyce Height and Patricia Hetchler, your quilt memories is truly stunning. This is an honorable mention winner. Tell us a little bit about your quilt. The fabrics are all Japanese and the applique figures are from Yoko Saito and it's also a taupe fabric choice. I, I really love her work, so she was my inspiration for this. Well, I can tell that the fabric colors and the choices are really reminiscent of those taupe quilts. You've done a beautiful job here with your applique, and you were telling me that this is raw edge, but it almost doesn't look it. Um, your machine applique stitch is just stunning. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you a little bit about um, the different motifs that you've represented here. Did you have um, a reason that you chose each one or, or well, what I were you thinking of there? Well, memories and um, a lot of the blocks have very special meaning to me. Like that was the very first block I ever made mm -hmm. and I grew up on a farm so I wanted a barn in my quilt. And we can't see it because I'm standing right here, but you have a, a J. I what does the J stand for? For Joyce. For Joyce. How oh, perfect. Um, an Ohio star because I live in Ohio. Um, a lot of flower baskets because my mom was a really gifted flower arranger, so it makes me think of her. That is a wonderful tribute yeah. to her to be able yeah. to do that. I wanted to ask you about these little circles that you have here. They really pull the quilt together and ground it. They're on the outside on the border. Um, these are part of the fabric you were it's saying. It's part of the fabric, yeah. And selecting yeah. the just the right fabrics is a huge part of the planning process. I think yeah. you did a wonderful job with that. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So I had to fussy cut them and that actually brought the whole thing together. So. Wonderful. Now on the edges too, you've got these prairie points. Um, what inspired you to do that on each edge? Well, I thought it went with the farm. It sure does. <laughs> and I like the, the lining of the prairie points because I wanted the two colors, the chocolate and the red. And it frames the quilt so well and you've yeah. done just a really stunning Thank job you. with it. Um, so is there anything else you'd like to tell us about it? Um, I think Patricia did a phenomenal job quilting it. <laughs> yes, I would love yeah. to talk to Patricia yeah. about the quilting as well. Yeah. So Patricia, um, what kind of process did you have to go through to choose the different quilting motifs? Because every single block has a different motif. It does, and it took quite some time to design it. I like to take pictures of the blocks, and then I like to print the pictures out, put something clear over it, like what we call trash paper <laughs> um, in, in my line of business. But it lets us draw out our ideas and then we can literally lay them out on the table together to get a good idea of the cohesiveness. It took about 50 hours actually to do that. Wow, just the design process. Just the design process and I actually used AutoCAD to draw up how I wanted to do the borders. Wow, and those borders just really pull the whole piece together. They're absolutely stunning. Now what made you choose that different colored um, thread for those borders? Well, I really wanted to get some nuance of color change in it. I didn't quite get the nuance I was hoping for, but I still like the fact that there's a little bit of yellow in the border just to help tie the quilt together. Sure. And kind of take away a little bit of the gray in the border and just bring a little color into it. Well, it's definitely there, but it's subtle enough that it doesn't overpower the quilt uh, in any way. I think it really you. worked very nicely. I also want to ask you about these little blocks and little spiraled squares that you've um, put in the center of every, of every sashing. Um, um, that really pulls the whole quilt together. Was that what you were going for? It was, and I actually used a, a scrapbooking machine to cut out templates. Oh, nice. I created the files in AutoCAD and then I cut the files out and so I was able to make a template for these borders to mark them so that everything was consistent and it was a little easier to longer. And so have the two of you been working together for quite some time? year and a half maybe year and a half it seems like a partnership that will last yeah. and last congratulations thank, thank you so much it's thank quite an honor oh yes. thank you so much both of you for speaking with me today and we hope you will come enter your quilt at the next aqs quilt week show